<sighs> I'm bored. <laughs> you have to fill an endless vase with your tears for eternity. Feeling better. Hi, and welcome in things that you might not know about. Taking off the shoe. Mm -hmm. Let's begin with Arachne. Arachne, daughter of in Lydia, was the most amazing weaver and spinner. She wove plenty of beautiful things over the time and knew she was good. She acquired such skills that she ventured to challenge Athena herself. Because yes, the goddess of war was also a fantastic weaver. Fuck. <sighs> I forgot again. Ta-da! What was Fuck off! The two of them set up their looms in the same room and wove from early in the morning until late at night. Athena wove, well, Athena wove a tapestry showing the gods in majesty. While her rival, she did not, she did not. Uh -uh. The Arachne wove the, adver ad oh. Arachne wove the amorous adventures of the gods, showing them getting drunk, cheating and doing a mess. It was absolutely perfection, which you can imagine did not please Athena. Athena got mad, like really, really mad. And as she's always in control, she transformed her into a spider. That's a way to deal with problem. Cursing her to weave forever and sees her weavings destroyed again and again. Athena, before looking for somebody else's life to ruin, said, you want to spin, go ahead and spin. I feel like she doesn't really like to lose. Till I hear you sing once more. I dream to dream in time and night. When I hope was I in life worth living. Ah. Oh. Another one that got punished for someone else's sins. I know, eh? I'd rather die. So Pasiphae was an immortal daughter of Helios. Ah. Shit. And was married to King Minos of Crete. Minos, in order to confirm his right to rule, prayed Poseidon to send him a snow-white bull. Poseidon, who wasn't busy at the time raping anybody, said yes and sent the bull. The only condition was for Minos to sacrifice the bull. But, as people like to play with fire in Greek mythology, Minos found the bull too pretty to be sacrificed. And so decided to sacrifice another. Because, 
Why not? So Poseidon punished Minos. First of all, by making the bull so insane that no one could approach it. And, in second time, by making Pasiphae in love with the bull. <laughs> I'm sorry, say what now? She did not ask for anything, but boom! No? Fortunately for her, at the time, Daedalus, the famous architect, was living in Crete, so she did what we would all have done. She asked him to build for her a wooden framework on wheels with cow skins over it, so she could go inside, pedal into the field, and do um, and do what people do when they love each other very, very much. And as Greek mythology makes totally sense, she got pregnant from the bull. Why not? Pretending he's beside me All alone I walk with him till morning In the darkness the trees are full of starlight, and all I see is him and me forever and forever. And I know it's only in my mind that I'm talking to myself and not to him. And although I know that he's blind, still I say there's a way for us. I love him, but when the night is over, he is gone, the river's just a river. And so naturally gave birth to Asterios, the Minotaur. To build a man, Minos, to build a mess, a mess, <laughs> build a mess. The Delos will be then asked by Minos to build a mess from which no one could ever find the way out, the labyrinth. They put the Minotaur in the center, and then Yupla, until Tetheris arrived. Well, <laughs> Yupla, Yupla, um, there was some sacrifice to feed the Minotaur sometimes. How did you get out of me? Shh, don't ask too many questions. Near to where Ares extends, this one is gonna be hard. Ares six, six fun. Ares six, Ares Ares six fun. Till I hear you sing once more. Near to where Ares six fun. Near to where. <laughs> near to where. Near near. Near to where Erisichthon was staying was a grove sacred to the goddess Demeter, with in his heart a mighty grove. No, <laughs> that grove was full with every kind of tree, and within his heart a mighty. It was a violent slam. A mighty oak. Erisichthon. Uh, from now on, I'm going to call him Eric. Hola! So Eric... So Eric desired a very big and very large banquet table. So of course, as he's very smart and there is a sacred grove nearby, let's go and cut the trees there. Because it's a fact. Gods love disrespect. Arriving at the big tree, the mighty one, Demeter arrived in disguise and tried to dissuade him. Nah, I want my table. Bring me an axe. As you can guess, it didn't work. He cut the tree, killing the dryad associated with it. A dryad is a spirit that lives in the forest. The dryad died, but she took the time before to curse him with a never-ending hunger. That Demeter took pleasure to put in application. Hmm, I need a bigger table then. From the moment he awoke, to the moment he went to sleep, he will eat. 
all day long, banquet after banquet. But the more he ate, the more he craved for food. Demeter will make sure that he'll never rest, and each night, Eric will dream about food. Soon, he runs out of food, so he started to eat the horses and the mules. But he was still hungry, so he sold his own daughter to buy more food. Poseidon, Poseidon, Poseidon helped her escape by making her a shapeshifter, which means that she could transform in anybody. You already probably got it, but Eric took this opportunity to sell her many times. I'm free! Oh no. Eventually, he began to eat himself, which obviously will kill him. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, like, subscribe, share the bell, and don't forget, happiness is right under your nose. So smile! daughter of Minos, no, of Helios. It's a Superman shape shift shifting. Put glasses on her. Oh wow! I can see the light. It's like Superman. I'm putting glasses on her. But I let them die without you, what are they for? My only thought is not on enough way Till I see once more Vroom, 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 vroom Il venait d'avoir 18 ans Il était beau comme un enfant Fort comme un homme C'était lutté évidemment Et j'ai canté en le voyant Mes nuits d'automne J'aurais voulu le retenir Pourtant je l'ai laissé partir Sans faire un geste Mais vous oubliez simplement Que j'avais le foin 18 ans